Hello, race fans. Welcome to another episode of Short Track Guys Podcast, brought to you by ShortTrackExclusives.com. I am your host, Thomas Faddis, alongside two other Short Track Guys in the studio tonight. Jim Pokrant, driver of the 07, can't quit fishing.com sportsman, and 2021 sportsman champion here locally at Five Flag Speedway in Pensacola, Florida, and Ted Baber. Ted Baber Video Productions, also at Five Flag Speedway, and other short tracks around the southeast, Pensacola, Florida, being the first one. What's up, guys? Good evening. How you guys doing this evening? Doing okay. Yeah, we uh, we got a lot on tap for this uh, episode. Uh, we're just kind of catching a little bit of uh, the qualifying air daytona for the 500 on sunday and uh a lot of racing is going on in uh in florida new smyrna we're going to touch on that and um we've got a sportsman update coming up uh, for the 18th uh opening night uh, with jim's uh stable and uh, how's everything going in the shop uh, it's going i'm starting to hang the body uh got the fuel cell in it waiting on the motor uh thank you to todd blizzard at coastal engine and machine he's uh got it done i'm waiting on a seal from tim bryant as soon as he gets back from daytona we'll get a seal we can seal it back up and i can go pick it up um ben is going to weld a one inch bung hole in the side of the oil pan so they can look at my crankshaft if they want to ben's supposed to be going over there later tonight and, he, and hopefully he will we got some welding to do and once all that's done, then I'm going to hang the body and get it ready to go. And I just got to spend some money. Got to buy a nose piece. Got to buy a hood. Then you got to buy sheet metal. And thanks to, you know, let's go, Brandon. Thanks to our <laughs> wonderful president. Yep. Prices of everything have shot way up. So, you know, the poor little guy like me gets gets it in the butt every time he goes to the, the metal store. But we'll be okay. We'll make it. And uh, it's just going to have some fun, man. That's all I care about. I like being behind the wheel. love having a good time. So, uh, you know. Let's get it done. Yeah, looks like uh, you're kind of excited for the beginning of the season. Go ahead and defend that championship and uh, see what the future holds after that. But uh, it's all focused from here on out, right? That's it. Let's get the car done right now. Driving, you know, the the loose nut behind the wheel is pretty good, so we ain't got to worry about him. (laughs) Everybody else does. but (laughs) Oh, yeah. Well, I got some people mad at me still, and I I keep hearing these threats that somebody's going to tear me up, and, man, I really hope to God he doesn't think he's going to do that because when he tries it, he's going to find out what that concrete feels like, and he's not going to like it very much. It does not move. (laughs) No, I've I've, I've tried to move it a few times. Neither does the inside guard reel either for my... No, you, especially if you hit one of those concrete blocks. Or they do move because I've moved one like two feet before. It's a pretty hard hit, but yeah, I we're going to have some fun. Yeah, I can imagine, uh, you know, hitting one of those. If, if you've been to Five Flag Speedway in a back straightaway where the guardrail is on the inside, those those big concrete blocks, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't really move, so to speak, but you have to have some speed to, I mean, even m- nudge it, but right. uh, everything inside the car and Inside your body really moves, so that's... You just grab your belts and turtle up, man. Yeah. Just tuck your head down. I get these big old shoulders and this big old neck of mine. I just pull it all together and go, oh, Lord, and feel the hit, and then go, okay, I'm alive. Yeah. And then then you look around and see a fire or whatever the hell's else is going on, and then you get out of the car unless you hit your, your, your two friends on the damn crotch strap, and then you're going to sit there a minute and try to breathe because that hurts. Yeah. And talk in falsetto. <laughs> yeah, you kind of end up coming. Are you okay? I'm like, just, just give me a minute. And they're like, okay. And they'll leave you sitting there like, okay, one, <laughs> two, three. They're all there. Okay, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you can imagine taking a tomato and throwing it up against the wall, um, <laughs> that's pretty much what your insides do when you hit the fence. Well, anybody you know, Your brain, your lungs, oh, yeah. intestines, everything inside, it, it doesn't have any restraints and everything moves inside. And that's, uh, people will look at the rollovers from end to end or side to side and they'd be like, man, that was horrible. And things are just, coming apart left and right and destruction everywhere and the guy gets out now of course with safety and everything is, is a little different than it used to be but right your short tracks uh locally on friday and saturday nights when you hit the fence uh that's pretty much what your insides do and some of those sudden impacts against the wall are, are a lot more dramatic than what you'd normally think right well i mean the other thing is you know knock wood i've never been knocked out i've been some pretty hard hits and just sit there a minute and go woo that sucked i had the wind knocked out of me but uh yeah it's all good man it's it's part of the sport you're gonna crash but you don't try to wreck people intentionally and this certain person keeps i keep getting the the you know oh we're gonna we're gonna get even well yeah you're not because if you try it and i know you're trying to do it on purpose you you better have your belts pulled tight's all i can tell you (laughs) yeah well they've uh they've got a lot of stuff going down in uh new smyrna down with um 
uh, speed weeks. Uh, we World had nine, series. yeah, wow. nine, nine <laughs> nights in a row. Uh, with the super late models, pro late models, uh, tour type modifieds, right. and the wheeling modifieds down there, they're really just kicking some, you know what? Um, <laughs> I mean, some exciting oh, racing yeah. down there. We've been watching some of the highlights and and putting some names down. A lot of it we have mentioned before. Um, you know, it's the World Series of Asphalt Racing, the super late models, pro late models, and modifieds down there. And man, I'm I'm telling you, they they're putting on one whale of a show. They it's are. a pretty good race so far. Extremely short races, too, is what kind of surprised me. Like 35 and 50 laps, that's a long way to travel for a short race. But. Well, they, they do run like two or 300 lappers in there, but this is for the whole overall championship. Right. So right. that's why they run the shorter races during the week. Because there's a lot of teams like, you know, Daytona that are down there to take the whole week off. And they go there and spend the week going to New Smyrna, going to Daytona, going here, going to there. And it's a pretty neat situation. That's something that is on my bucket list and I will do soon is to ride down there and spend a week. Because I think that would just be awesome. Oh, yeah. And, you know, they had the Arkham Menards uh, East Series race uh, last night. And yeah. uh, we've got, well, we had one of our guests uh, previously in episode 17, Christian Rose, uh, with uh, West Virginia Tourism down in the 42 car and um, didn't have really the night that I'm sure he was expecting, but uh, he was there. He's been testing at Daytona for Saturday's Arca Menards race. Um, you know, we hope to catch up with him soon and uh, kind of follow up with uh, with our last episode with him and but they've had uh, all those races down there, and it's, it's going on a nightly basis for nine nights in a row. I think tonight is night six, I yep. believe. Uh, it'll last through the weekend. And, yeah, they have had uh, a couple of late model races that were 100 lappers. And a right. uh, cup driver, William Byron, I think we all know of, uh, with Hendrick Motorsports in the 24 car uh, on Sundays you're used to. Uh, got into Donnie Wilson Motorsports uh, late model and ended up winning the, the Clyde Hart Memorial 100 uh, and you know, it's just, uh, the drivers are, the list is just it's incredible. It's stellar. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you also can't, can't for, uh, forget Volusia County, the dirt track. They have several nights that Kenny Wallace is down there racing almost every night. So they, they put on a show like that with modifieds and dirt late models and dirt, the big block dirt modifieds, the ones from up North come down and run. So, I mean, you're, you got a, just a whole smorgasbord of racing and if you, there's something down there that doesn't make you happy, you hate the sport, stay home, please. <laughs> yeah. They got World of Outlaws sprint cars, the World of Outlaws late models, the like I said, the big block modifieds, the short track uh, IMCA type modifieds, you know, street stocks. It's all great racing. Something for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's just, I mean, to me, I'd love to go down there and just to do all of it, you know, spend part of the day at the dirt track, then go to the asphalt track, then go back to the dirt track, then go to the Daytona 500, and then you know, get to hang out and see some of these guys that, that are short track heroes. Yeah, the Sammy Smiths and Derek Griffiths, Jeffrey's Love and Brad May, you know, Justin Mondike, all those guys, um, you know, and Michael Hind, what a, a show he's been putting on in the Pro Late Model Series down there. And, and New Smyrna is winning three of the first four. Uh, and I believe they're, they're going after uh, five tonight. But, I mean, uh, it's just uh, one of those things that uh, we've talked about, you know, it's it's – even getting better than a dumpster list now. Oh yeah, well he, he Michael Hind ran really well at the the Citrus One Twenty Five, which um, Ty Majeski won and Bubba run second. And you know those type of races, man, you you can't account the kind of cars we have because Michael Hind is with uh, Stephen Nassi. They're kind of a teammates. Yeah. And man, that kid has come alive. Last year he couldn't win a, a race; his life depended on it. But now, man, that Michael Hind kid has come on strong. Yeah. I mean, Sammy Smith has won. He did win the ARCA race. He did. Um, uh, he's won, I think, a couple of the uh, super late model races down there already. In the ARCA race, he was in a, a Kyle Busch Motorsports ARCA car. So yeah. there you have it. Um, you know, and a lot of these guys go down and, and getting a little tune up. Um, some of the guys that are uh, you're going to see on Sundays are down there for the weekend anyway because the race is at Daytona on Sunday. So they get rides. Uh, I think Ryan Priest. We saw him in the in the Whalen Modified race just a few nights ago with Matt Hirschman, which is one of those uh, modified drivers who are just really just tearing it up down there uh, with Jimmy Blewett and all you know the big guys, uh, Patrick Emmerling and so forth. Um, this 
it's one of those nights or weekends or weeks that you go down and, and expect to see great racing, and that's exactly what's happening. Oh yeah, and, we uh, got to go see those big brown pounder modifieds, dude. I know, I know, we we it's hard for us to travel up north and see them, but down there, man, especially at that high speed, high bank, New Smyrna racetrack, mm-hmm. man, <laughs> dude. And I can't imagine how the ground shakes when those things go around there. Yeah, it's a good looking track too, and it looks like the outside works a lot better than uh, it you know, does because of momentum. Yeah. You want to stay up high, you got to keep your. The turns are kind of tighter than like Five Flags because Five Flags is more turns than it is straightaway. That track has long straightaways and really tight turns. So when you, if you run in on the bottom, you're putting a lot of wheel in the car, binds the car up. Yeah, you're on the outside, you're not. And it is a half mile too. Yeah, right? definitely. So it's going to be it. It'd be a very interesting show. I'll just put it that way. I, I know some people from here that went down there with a the modified and stuffed it in the wall. And one of our local modifieds and a friend of mine said, so we thought we killed him. It went in and the whole ass end come off the ground. And oh, like, geez. man, are you all right? Yeah, mm. yeah I'm good. You got out of the car. Like, holy crap. Yeah. And we're going to keep an eye on the rest of the, the week there at the New Smyrna, the uh, World Series of Asphalt Stock Car Racing, uh, the, all the activities that are going down there. Uh, but the race that uh, we're going to turn to right now and focus on is the, the Arkham Menards East Series race that took place just a little bit ago. And uh, Ted's got a little rundown of the results there that uh, that took place. We talked about uh, Sammy Smith winning the race. Well, he didn't win it easily. i got to tell you, I watched the uh, last replay, and if it wasn't for a less than premier start by Taylor Gray, Smith might not have won that race. Taylor had a little bit of difficulty on that last restart, and it cost him the, the win. So as uh, Smith was uh, in first, Taylor Gray second. Max Gutierrez uh, finished third. It was uh, Leland Honeyman, and we had quite a few first-timers there, two Honeyman being one of them. He was uh, uh, the in, came in fourth place. And then here comes the fun part, because <laughs> we've got a name here that I have never heard before, and I, was, I did a lot of research trying to figure out how it was pronounced. I believe it's Donald, I'm going to go with Thagay, perhaps, because I was like, well, where is he from? Maybe that'll give me a clue. Yeah, that was a whole lot of fun because <laughs> it turns out he is from Canada, but it happens to be, okay, this one, Boischatel. <laughs> Try to say that three times fast. Boischatel, Quebec, Canada. He's been around for a while. He's like 55 years old, and he's been racing for quite a bit, but a nice top five finish for him. And then uh, Mason Diaz in sixth, Logan Mishiraka. I hope. And Logan, we're used to Logan Boyette, and he's a local racer. Well, this Logan happens to be a female driver, one of two in that race, as a matter of fact. And then we have Willie Mullins, Stephanie Meyer being the other female driver, Ed Pompa, Christian Rose. Unfortunately, he comes in with the uh, just outside of the top 10 in 11th place. He had some kind of a difficulty, wound up getting into the inside fence, and it bent the car up a little bit. On the replay I saw, I couldn't tell if he had help or if he just lost it, and then he got stuck in the mud because it had, they'd had off and on rain there all night that kind of affected things somewhat. Uh, Steve Austin, and I just have to say because he was sponsored by Red Tide, I'm thinking Steve Austin, Tide. Uh, no, mm. no, not that Steve Austin. No. No. <laughs> okay. Six million dollar man. Yeah. We can rebuild him. <laughs> we yeah. have the technology. 13th place was uh, Caleb Costner. Uh, 14th was... Tony Cosentino, Brad Smith was in 15th place, and Zachary Tinkle was the uh, rounded out the, the entire field. Uh, according to what I have, I don't even know if he started that race because they had zero laps completed listed in his uh, finishing order. So that's how things went in New Smyrna for the ARCA cars. Yeah, and that third place car, Max Gutierrez, I think he ended up winning it last year. I think he uh, he and either Chandler Smith or maybe Sammy Smith again they were battling it out, but uh, Gutierrez came out with that win, and yeah. they interviewed him before the race, and uh, he was going to go after another one. So, um, well, he came from the back of the field or middle of the field. I don't think he qualified up front, but he ended up finishing the podium. So yeah. congrats to him and all the winners there in that ARCA series. And that's the same series in the East uh, that's going to be here at, uh, at Five Flags here exactly. not too long. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. that'll be a good show. But, you know, I don't want to say something about the ARCA series. It really bothers me. Is It used to be you had teams that raced for the ARCA championship and didn't run in NASCAR or anywhere else, didn't want to. You had the Kimmels. And you had the, now it's ruined. It's nothing but, oh, it's a, it's a feeder series, so bring all your money. And these teams are all cup affiliated, and there's only 18 of them, which is sad because used to be they, you know, the ARCA field was full. Now you can't fill up the field anymore. It's ridiculous. 
It needs to go back to the way it was. We need a series. Maybe this SRL late model series will turn into something like that where we can actually watch short track racers race and not guys wanting to race NASCAR. Just my opinion. Because we are short track guys. We're not NASCAR guys. That's a shame because NASCAR is going down the toilet. But we'll stick with our short track routes. Yes, much more entertaining. Yeah, I mean, dang, why, why would you not want to watch some guys beating, banging street stocks or watch two late model guys go at it? Like guys like Bubba Pollard who race strictly short track and not going to go anywhere. You know, even guys like Steven Nassie are racing short track. Michael Hine, most of these guys know they're not going to make it to the big time. They don't have the money, so they're going to race locally and have fun. Yeah. And speaking of Bubba Pollard, we haven't really touched on him. He's uh, not really had the, 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 I guess I would say luck, but he just hasn't had the, the showing uh, that they expected. Um, in New Smyrna, yeah. Yeah, coming off of two wins. In a uh, second. In a second in Citrus County uh, with the big race over there. Uh, Rarely had the car to beat, um, but he goes to New Smyrna and had some uh, engine trouble, I think. Yeah, he was fastest qualifier the, for the first 100 lapper. And then uh, they found some me- the motor started laying down during the race, so he brought it in. They found metal in the filter. Ooh. He had to miss the next race, and then they got it back together, and I think he finished 13th, something like that. He didn't have a really good – he finished third and one and then 13th in the other, so he's not – Having a real good time at the World Series of Asphalt, but that's yeah. okay. He's Bubba Pollard. He's our boy. He'll come back strong. Yeah, he's got, I think uh, when they they brought that motor in and put it in, I think they just had to fine tune it a little bit. And he had some issues with it and came in. I think he finished a couple of laps down and went back out. But um, he's just shaking it down, and uh, he's not going away. That's for sure. That's true. He's the best of the best short track. So we're going to enjoy watching this season with him. I'm telling yep. you. <laughs> He's driving that TM Ranch Super Late model with David Rogers uh, proudly. He's doing a good job with it, too. Huh? <laughs> well, that, those, those TM Ranch people are racers. They've been, they, I mean, they come to every Five Flags race when David Rogers was here. They come to everyone, Bubba Pollard's here. So that's pretty cool, man. And they sponsor other people, too. They, they'll, you know, somebody will need some money, kind of like the way James Finch does. Somebody's money, there'll be a Phoenix sticker on the car, you know, he'll buy you some tires or something, you know. So that's. I, that's why I love James Finch. He's a short track guy at heart. You know, and the TM Ranch people are short track people. So that's the kind of people we need. People that got money and want to invest in short track racing. Screw NASCAR. We don't want to go to the big time. We want to race locally. Right. Well, I just want to, I'm going to run down uh, the super um, points list right now. I'm not going to give the points, but uh, Sammy Smith and Derek Griffiths are through five nights, I think, four nights, super late models. They are tied for the lead there going into the last few nights there. Well, Jesse Love winning last night, uh, and I think he battled Derek Griffiths there at the finish. And, you know, he I, I read something he said at the end, uh, battling Derek Griffith. They have had battles before, and it got down to I was coming up on him, and we've done this in the past, and he lets me go. So it's coming around full circle because it's reciprocal. So there's a lot of respect between Jesse Love, and we've mentioned him before. He's in California. Uh, he comes over to the East Coast, and he runs a lot. Uh, but Derek Griffith and, and Jesse Love had a lot of respect as racers. If he's coming up on me, he's faster than me, you give way and then try to, you know, maybe use, get him to burn his stuff up and then try to catch him again. But that's, that shows to me that there are two racers there that you can have a lot of respect for each other when they get on that racetrack. Oh, yeah. You got to have respect for those guys because I'm going to tell you, some of these guys race together a lot and you don't go beating and banging. I mean, Michael Atwell's moved a few people and he's going to learn. You know, you push people like that around, eventually you're going to get it back, and it's not going to be good on you. I mean, karma can be either negative or positive, depending on which way you look at it. If you receive negative, you're going to give negative. If you receive well, positive, I mean, you don't give it. You yeah. can't take it from people, because if people beat on you and shove you out of the way and you let them continue to do it, they'll, they'll continue to do it. If you give it back to them, I'm going to tell you something, they'll, they'll learn a lesson. At least some people will. People with money won't, but real, real racers will shake hands and talk good things, so... Yeah, I mean, it's just, it comes down to respect. And those two obviously have a lot of respect going on. Now you can look at Pollard and Nassie and their history with the last couple of years, three years. They, I'm, I'm sure deep down they both have respect for the talent and the, the side of, uh, the fence that they all kind of battle against each other. Um, but you never know. I, I don't think one would give an inch to another. I mean, it, it to me, it's not the same respect that, that I think. Uh, Griffith and, and Love have, have displayed here in the last four or five nights. No, not at all. Good racing, though. So we got Brad May and uh, Justin Mondike round out the top five uh, through 
five nights. Uh, they still have this weekend to go. Uh, Gabe Summers, Jake Finch, Justin Girardi, and Stephen Nassie are some of the notables there within striking distance with a couple of wins. They could probably, you know, get back up in there. Um, we got to do the points uh, so far with the tour type modifieds with Jimmy Blewett and Ron Silk, uh, Craig Lutz, uh, Tog Hogden, and Ronnie Williams, their top five. That, and we're talking about the ground pounders, you know, those, those 15 inch low to the ground. Uh, modifies it just uh man they get around that track and they get it done huge <laughs> horsepower and about three inches off the ground like go-karts <laughs> oh yeah with big motors big motors and big tires yeah i'd love to drive one just for for you know craps and giggles it would be fun <laughs> yeah. i'll tell you what those are the one of the cars like i said i want to go see yeah like, that's that is one of the reasons i want to make that trip down because i want to sit there and feel like grandstand shake when those guys mm. thunder by yeah may go to bowman gray and watch one of those races you know, I love Bowman Gray, but all they do is beat and bang up there. If you want to go watch a, a fight break out and then a race, I mean, a, a, watch a fist fight and a race break out, that's where you go because you're not getting around anybody to Bowman Gray unless you put the bumper to them. Interesting racing. I used to love that show Madhouse, though. That was great. Watching those guys beat and bang and fighting and tear each other's stuff up. Yeah, it's awesome. You go to a race and hockey game breaks out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that, that's, short track racing's fun. Yeah. And the top five. In the Pro Late Models, we have uh, Michael Hind. Uh, we've mentioned before he's won four of the first five races, I think, in the Pro Late Models um, uh, with an ARCA, not an ARCA, but ACR. Anthony Campy Racing yeah. is ACR. Anthony Campy yeah. Racing, yeah, in the 81, but uh, Giovanni Rosario. Oh, Rosario, yeah. Rosario, yeah. He ended up winning, a, I mean, they, I think they've had, up until tonight, they've had four Pro Late Model races. And uh, Michael Hind has won three of them. And Rosario won the third one. So, um, obviously, Michael Hind is leading the points with Connor Jones, Gustine, William Swalowick. Did I get that correct? Swalowick. And then, and then Jet Nolan, who is also an Anthony Campy racing in the 81 car yes. swap out. Because uh, Anthony Campy, I think he gets guys in there to, to run those cars and just kind of you know, like a de driver development situation. That's exactly yes. what it is. Cause he had Giovante bro Bromite. Bromite. He like, yeah. he likes those Bromante. He likes those kind of funny names cause he's had several, <laughs> but I mean, you know, the Anthony Campy's another team kind of like the Wilson stables that they rent their late models out. And that guy probably makes a pretty good living. Yeah. Letting people drive his cars. Yep. So there's been some good talent go through those cars and that's cool. Yeah. Do you think it's sort of a rental deal from a team coming in saying, Hey, we, you know, it could be, it could be a deal where they, you know, you get this many races in this car, you get like kind of Wilson does, you get yeah. this many races, how much money you got. Okay. Well, we'll buy you five races. You're going to do this one, this one, this one, and this one, mm. and that one. And then you're going to do this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this car. And then, you know, they got to schedule it. I'm sure that the money's got to be handed over. Got to have a check first. Well, we're going to keep an eye on the rest of the week and uh, we'll kind of get back to it next Wednesday with uh, the World Series and we'll go over the champion and uh, I'm sure there'll be some more you know, more winners and maybe some new winners that uh, we haven't mentioned. Uh, but, you know, uh, we'll just have to get back with it next Wednesday and Jim, keep it up with that sportsman update and we'll we'll catch back with you on Wednesday getting ready for the, the opener on the 18th of March. Uh, guys, that not really to cut it short, but that's pretty much all our focus was tonight was the World Series of Asphalt down at New Smyrna. Uh, you guys uh, enjoy Daytona weekend, uh, finish watching qualifying, get ready for the truck race and Xfinity. Uh, not very many times you're going to see all three series run on the same weekend. Right. But Daytona in the opener is always a good. My favorite is going to be with the Pro Stocks and NHRA will be the truck race on Friday night. I look forward to that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and um, guys, <laughs> as always, it's uh, it's such fun, and and uh, it's it's. I'm glad that we're all getting together on Wednesday night and continue to do this. So it's, um, you guys, thank you so much. Hey, thank you for this. Is your baby? You came up with this, and you invited me to come along, and we had another partner who kind of fell out on us, and I brought Ted on board, and it's been fun, and we're doing a good job, and let's just keep it up. And while I'm thinking about it, let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, thanks everybody for listening. We'll Good talk night. to you next Wednesday. Good night, everybody.